I love this. Yeah. I'm in Miami on my second date, and uh, I'm having a really good time with Reuben the Cuban. Are we close to your house? Uh, maybe halfway. There's a lot of traffic lights, so it's made in traffic a little bit now. Close us down more. Before going to Miami, Reuben told me he is the primary caretaker for his mother and his father. You know, that's vulnerability, and I find that commendable. It's like you should be the mayor of Miami. Ah, well. <laughs> You know, when you love your, your your hometown, you know, you yeah. want to show it off. I didn't expect to meet Ruben's dad on our second date. So it's kind of like, OK, maybe he really likes me. And you know, believe it or not, at my age, being 67, I'm still shy to meet anybody's parents because, you know, they're sizing you up. Like, is this going to be a part of my family? Is this going to be the in-laws or the outlaws? Come on in. Oh, there's my dad. Hola. This is my, mi casa, like they say. And Hola. Mira, my dad, Elio. Mi amiguita, Debbie. Mucho gusto. Está vino a visitarme de, de Georgia, de Atlanta. Atlanta. See, si. see, si, see. Si. Shouldn't we let Dad watch his show? Yeah, yeah. He's watching some uh, some boxing, I guess. Let, let's go in the yard here. Okay. And let's enjoy the the beautiful starry night. I love that. My experience meeting Osama's parents. I might as well walked over in Morocco and had a red A embroidered on my shirt. But meeting Ruben's dad, this is normal, and I don't have to freak out.